only had 35 minutes of chess today, and we understand the fans that paid today do get to come to the tiebreak for free, but oh, really? what okay. does this say about the chess world when the most climactic game only lasts 35 minutes? Um, you're putting me on the spot there, Mike. Now I have to watch my words very carefully. Um, I, I mean, Magnus also gave a very important side to the argument, which is that you know, the chess world hasn't lost out because the tie breaks will be very exciting. It's rapid chess, it could be blitz chess. Biggest prize in chess decided on a blitz game is going to be very exciting. There's going to be a lot of drama. But I think it perhaps highlights the fundamental problem with the current format. And without going into details, I think, you know, things have to be shaken up a bit because it is a bit anticlimactic for, for many fans to come here, traveled a long way, Many people, of course, watching online who have made sacrifices in order to watch online. They've paid money to watch this. And for it to essentially be a no contest is, I think, uh, a problem for the game. And, of course, you manage a player who was within a whisker of being here, so this is not just an academic subject for you. No. This could become a reality. Do you think there was too many rest days here at the World Championship? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of all of these rest days. Of course, rest days are important, but to have even in the in the final uh, few games, game, rest day, game, rest day. And now we've got a game that finished in half an hour, now we have to wait another rest day. It's just not necessary uh, to have so many rest days. I think they can be better situated in the schedule. I also think, for example, having the final game on a Monday must be something that <laughs> has to be looked at because Clearly you want the games on the weekend and I know there's been talk of it, you know, not being possible due to the scheduling, but you, you have to plan further ahead to make that happen. If you're going to make this a legitimate commercial, commercially successful product, then not having the final game on a weekend must be a mistake. Let's look ahead of the tie breaks. Almost yeah. nothing of theoretical importance happened yeah. in the classical part. Do you expect them to open it up a little bit with their openings choices? I don't know, I think it's still going to be cagey, first few tie breaks. Um, but clearly what will be very exciting is if one of the players loses early on, let's say one of them even loses with white and then has to make, has to win with black. I think that's a kind of in interesting scenario because they simply can't go on playing like this. So they will choose something a bit more spicy and, you know, it could be a very, very very interesting tie break. I, 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 it's too close to call. I really, Magnus is obviously favorite, but anything can happen. Rapid chess. And finally, we know Magnus is a big sportsman, loves playing golf, tennis, soccer, basketball. Do you think there, there's that little piece of him that actually kind of enjoys the fact that this is going to go to a rapid and blitz final? I think, I think so. And you could tell by his body language and his smile that he's very very happy to go to tie break. But I can tell you another thing. If he loses that tie break, that smile will quickly fade away and um, he might think, well, my, ma my play during the match itself simply wasn't up to scratch. Now, he'd be the first one to admit that, that he's played better. Obviously, if he wins it, all of the bad play previously will be forgotten about. But um, what's interesting is also Sergei's strategy has been very, he's, he's employed a very correct strategy. You know, he didn't take any risks really at any point during the championship, so he has been prepared for this. And maybe we'll see a, 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 an amazing rapid kayaking that we really don't see that much because we don't see him play that many rapid events or blitz events, actually, I should say. So it's going to be really interesting to see on Wednesday, but um, yeah, all to play for, very difficult to call.